Hey, what's up guys? This is Foryam again back with a new Minecraft Dungeons video. In today's video, I wanted to show you my updated AFK XP farm. And this one right now is 100% Apocalypse level 7 proof. So you will be able to get your hands on tons of experience while you're just AFK. You can go to school, go to work, uh, do some cooking or walk with a dog, come back and see all those levels added to your character. To get this farm done guys, I have spent a lot of time on my research so it would be very much appreciated if you could leave a like and of course subscribe for more. I am making videos for Minecraft Dungeons almost on the daily so if you're a big fan of the game definitely check it out. Right now we're gonna check out every single detail what you're gonna need to know in order to get this farm going for yourself on the highest apocalypse difficulty. Guys, let's get right to it. Okay, so the first and most important thing is getting your hands on all that gear that you're going to need for this farm. Um, this is going to be a little bit repetitive, but um, there are some enchantment changes and additions to this farm. So it is very important to know what exactly you're going to need for the farm. So first off, we are going to get our hands on a very nice piece of armor. I got my hands on the stalwart armor and this one has two really awesome basic enchantments which give you damage reduction and then also a chance to negate hits. So this is actually the most tanky stuff that you can get your hands on. Um, also uh, common or green ones, uh, reinforced meal, they also give you minus 30%, 35% uh, damage reduction and then also a chance to negate hits. Uh, this can also be found on the full metal armor and some other pieces which are unique but um, if you uh, search for the armor definitely make sure you get those two base enchantments. Uh, I think this stalwart armor is really nice, it gives me 6777 health and Right now we're going to check out the enchantments on it. So the first one you're going to focus on is the burning because this will allow you to deal damage to the enemies all the time and will gather your souls. And these souls are super important for the build because it will also allow you to clear the mobs, heal yourself uh, when you're getting in a tough situation. Then the second one is the chilling. And um, if you were playing on Apocalypse level 7, these mobs hit like a truck. And if they have the full attack speed, they will kill you for sure. You won't stand a chance. You will not be able to run this farm AFK. Maybe if there is like one spawner, but um, definitely make sure you get your hands on chilling. It is super important for the farm. Then last but not least, this is also an essential item uh, to have the final shout. Whenever your health drops below 25%, all your artifacts are used and they ignore the cool down periods and this is up to a every eighth second and guys don't go for tier one or tier two make sure you get tier three because uh, sometimes the mobs spawn in a little bit faster they get to you a little bit faster as well and then they will be able to kill you if you don't have this on cooldown so um, that's it for your armor uh, you can do this with a unique you can also do it with a common which i have right here but the higher your power level is on the item the higher the hp is as well and this one only has 5000 HP so I definitely recommend to get something uh, above level 110. This one is 112 with almost 7000 HP which is really awesome. I think if you go to 113 with armor um, yeah look at that you can even get over 7000 HP so uh, make sure guys uh, you go for that high power level and these three enchantments. Now we're gonna get our hands on two soul weapons as well. The first one is the, well, soul scythe is not really essential. Any weapon with uh, soul gathering will work. So um, as long as you get the anima conduit enchantment, this is something that I showed in my last uh, guide for the best new weapon enchantment. Well, this is part of it, guys. The anima conduit can heal you uh, every time for 6% of your HP whenever you gather the soul. And uh, the cool thing is you don't have to fight with the weapon. You don't have to actually get the final blow with a weapon so uh, if you also have a bow a ranged weapon uh, with the anima conduit you will actually get 12% of your HP every time when you get a soul of a killed mob so you can just keep healing yourself with these two items so if you have that you can definitely uh, best the apocalypse level 7 difficulty on this AFK farm and the cool thing is for example this jailer scythe doesn't have the anima conduit enchantment but it does have enigma resonator and soul siphon and if i have all these things i can get plus one plus two plus three soul gathering so this will also uh, contribute a little bit to the build but it is really not necessary as long as you get one anima conduit uh, on each of your weapons and equip both of them you will be just fine 
Then last but not least, we have our three artifacts. And the first one is the Harvester. So every time when you drop below 25% of your HP because of um, uh, the final shout, you will pop every single artifact. So that is super nice. Um, so if you get into trouble, the Harvester will pretty much reset everything and uh, destroy all the mobs around you. And then you will be able to heal yourself up without a problem. And this brings us to the other two artifacts. The first one is the Soul Healer. So when we drop below 25%, HP this will trigger it will heal us instantly and uh, even though you don't have any souls on your um, uh, on your soul bar which is right here then uh, it will still heal you because um, the final shout will always ignore uh, your soul bar as well as the cooldown so the soul healer is something a quick potion that you will use when you drop to uh, less than 25% HP and then as addition to that we have the totem of regeneration if you drop that low, um, you will get an instant heal with the soul healer and then the totem of regeneration will heal you even more in the background. And while you're healing with your artifacts, you're going to also heal with uh, these two weapons because they have a 12% uh, healing for every soul gathered with the anima conduit. So that is insane. And guys, if you're still missing one or more of the items for this build, well, then there is one place I can recommend above all the rest the Soggy Swamp. This one has all the artifacts, the Harvester, the Soul Healer, as well as the Totem of Regeneration. And you can even find a Soul Weapon right here, the Soul Knife, which can have the Anima Conduit enchantment. Uh, there is also a Soul Scythe. This can be farmed on the Pumpkin Pastures. Uh, look at that. And then on the Arc Haven, you can find it as well as the Soul Crossbow. Um, if you want the perfect armor, guys, you're going to go for the Lower Temple. This is the place where you can find the Reinforced Mail. Uh, the common one has the minus um, damage reduction and then also the chance to negate hits but you can also find the unique for Ryan's uh, you can find the full metal armor and then in my opinion uh, the one which I have the stalwart armor is really really great right now guys we're gonna check out how this works on um, the redstone mines so we're gonna go to the redstone mines so now we're gonna search for the perfect place to farm for that experience while we are afk Okay, we just found the perfect spot, guys. I'm gonna start clearing this area. We also have to deal with an evoker, so this is gonna be a little bit annoying. He will be gone pretty soon, guys. I'm just gonna lure the mobs towards this area because otherwise I'm gonna deal damage to the spawners and I don't want that to happen. Ouch. That was close. Oh, man, I really don't like the radiance of this uh, weapon. Okay, so let's check it out quickly. So we have a place where we can stand right here. Oh, I just died right there. That was really stupid. What we're gonna do is equip our armor once again. So um, let's check it out, guys. Uh, Stalwart armor, the two weapons, your generation, and then all the artifacts. You don't have to worry about dying right now because right now you are actually immune to death because of all the healing that will come towards you. Look at this, guys. We are losing a lot of HP, but uh, every eight seconds we can actually use our final shot and this will uh, destroy all the mobs around us. And um, yeah, well, the anima conduit, which is popping up twice every time when we kill something, is just healing us to the fullest. So I'm gonna stand right in the middle of these farms, guys. And we have a lot of them right here. Not three, but actually four. But they are going to be a little bit too uh, close to each other if I actually want to farm every single one of them. So I'm gonna stand a little bit further away from the three spawners. And um, so this one is going to be destroyed, but I still have three of the, the spawners uh, for me. So that is going to be very nice to have. I'm gonna take the chest right there as well. I'm gonna take all these items. And um, then we're gonna look at the perfect positioning. I think this is perfect because now I will trigger every single one of these three. And uh, yeah, the other one is gone, but that's just fine. We have a flat surface. So um, this means that the mobs will be able to get to us very easily. So this is the perfect setup. You don't have any relief. You don't have any um, things like tents or, or walls standing in between you and the mobs. So um, they won't block each other. They won't be blocked by anything else. They can just walk to you without a problem. And then you can um, farm for your XP pretty much. 
And sometimes, guys, it can be a little bit frustrating and annoying uh, to find that perfect setup place. Because, for example, right here, these three spawners were positioned perfectly. So this was exactly what I was looking for. But at the same time, one of the spawners was spawned right on the railway where the minecart is passing through all the time. So every time when it went by, it dealt a little bit of damage to the spawner. So I was forced to find another place. A fortunate business, but just search for the perfect place. It will save you a lot of time in the long run because while you're AFK, you can farm for all those levels so you can actually do something productive while you're not AFK and search for items, for example. So that is pretty much everything you need to know, guys, in order to get this farm going, to set it up for yourself on the highest apocalypse difficulty in Minecraft Dungeons. Of course, there are going to be future updates with higher difficulties and higher power levels, but I think this one will work perfectly fine as well, as long as the anima conduit does not get nerfed, because right now we are having plus 30, 31, 32. It just keeps going. I think it is quite strong, but um, yeah, it works. So um, if you like the video definitely make sure you hit that like button and if you are not yet subscribed to the channel make sure you do because i am making videos almost on the daily for this game i'm making guides uh, hardcore survival gameplay videos and a lot more cool stuff for you to watch so if you were a big fan of minecraft dungeons definitely make sure you check it out so guys thanks a lot for watching once more right now it is 4 out i'll see you in the next one